looking at these dog bones. Oh, ruining my aesthetic. Hey, what is up? Keep the gray here. Welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to have you here. Today, I am going to go over ways for you and I and anyone to improve their posture while they're in static positions and just to teach you how to change up your position throughout the day if you find yourself stuck in static positions or if you have to be at a desk for many hours during the day. I'm going to show you different ways to change it up and to sit in the most ergonomic way. Ergonomic, what the heck does that mean? Let's find out with our good old friend, Google. The definition of ergonomic, according to Google, is relating to or designed for efficiency and comfort in the working environment. Now this can be the working environment or any kind of environment that you're in, that you're basically in a static position. Um, most people, it is work. Um, however, of course, it could be for school or anything, again, that you're just in a static position. And then in addition to that, say you have a more active job, like when I was training in the gym, I would be standing for a really long time. And unfortunately, sometimes if you're standing for a really long time, that can also take a toll on your body like it did for me. Just postural positions that aren't as ideal will catch up to you in the long run. Let's start off with things you can do instead or alternative ways of standing or sitting at a desk if you do find yourself in a desk environment throughout most of the day. But before we jump into it, please give this video a like and subscribe down below. It really helps to support me and my channel and so you can always come back and hang out with me again. I have new videos every single week. Weef. Every single week. And I have a plethora of different videos on here. All right, let's jump into it. Hop it up to the desk. Ooh, this is my desk. It is a standing desk converter that I placed onto a desk that was already in this room. And I find that works perfectly. Or you can get yourself a standing desk just to have the option to stand. Now a lot of people, if you don't have as much of an ergonomic setup, you might have a sitting desk at the moment. Buying yourself, there's so many out there, so many, so many options. This is just a random one that I had and I was able to place on here. But getting yourself a converter so that you can have the opportunity to bring it up to a stand is the most ideal thing because it gives you all of the options. So I can pop myself down on the floor with my computer, bring myself back up, bring my computer up here. I can sit down in this position and I can take this desk and raise it up as high as I want. It's at eye level and everything is more ideal. So that is tip number one, just to have the setup and to set yourself up for as many options as you can to be moving throughout the day. Now, if you have a computer that cannot move, of course, that's fine. A lot of people have a big setup. If you don't have a laptop and you have a desktop or if you just have something that really can't be moved, this is the most ideal thing because you can't take it down to the floor like I just said. Your best bet is to get a converter so you can go up and down throughout the day. Let's start off with sitting. Let me pull out my chair. This is the chair I have. It's called a TikTok chair. It's by the brand Fully. Um, it's an awesome brand. Uh, and you definitely have to, oh my goodness, Google Calendar. You definitely have to invest in something like this or you can just find anything, just Google out there, any type of ergonomic chair. But my advice, find something similar to this. So what I love about this chair is it could tick tock this way, you can rotate it, it could tick tock this way, 
But what's cool about it is you are set up in the most ideal way of sitting. It's basically like a stool. I can turn all the way around. And the most important part is, I know you cannot see my head, but I'm still here. <laughs> like the headless horseman. Have y'all wait? Okay, back to it. So the point, what I really like about this chair is you are in such a good position for your lower body. So I am seated. Why do I have so much trouble with this word? I am sitting as upright as possible and I'm aiming for my knee line to be down on a downward slant from my hip line. That is gonna keep as little pressure off of my hips when I'm sitting down and not getting them as tight in this bent position where it's 90 degrees or even more if people are sitting in really low chairs. So first things first, find yourself a chair, prop yourself up if you have to on pillows or anything. Even if you don't have a chair like this, you can get like a high top chair and sit on the edge, anything like that. Just try to have and aim for your feet to be on the floor. Aim for your knees to be lower than your hip. Almost like a nice little slope down. Another thing I like about this chair is not only is my knee now lower than my hip line, I can move it up and down and it's still in a kind of ideal position no matter where you are, no matter how low your desk is, or as high as your desk is, it does cater to a lot of different positions. And you can move a lot with it. And then it'll just keep you moving and not staying in that static position. That's gonna be a thing that I'm really driving in with this entire video, is just try to get as much movement as possible. Whether you're TikToking, I don't know if that's why this is called TikTok chair. I'm not sure. But another thing that I really like about it is your pelvis will be placed in more of an ideal position. So it's not super rounded, my low back is not really rounded, and I'm not in like a super, super, super crazy, crazy arch. It teaches you to stay in a neutral position. Since there's no back, and since I don't have that much support, which I don't need support, I can support myself, which is something that I say about a lot of different things, especially things with shoes. I don't need support because I'm staying upright and I'm supporting myself. So I can take this over to the desk and then whenever I'm ready to stand, I can just stand up, pick up the desk, and I'm good to go. Moving on to standing. Moving on into standing positions. A big mistake, and I myself had done it, is falling too far forward when you are standing. So this is a very common position for people to be in, but you want to be able to stand and push your hips back. That will just put way less strain on your low back and not really push yourself too much into an arch. It's just more ideal to have your hips be pushed back. Now with more ideal positions, you're going to find that it's gonna take a little bit more effort to be in those positions. And you know, that's just the way that it is. But with this, just try to be aware of the shift. So shift back, shifting back over your heel, but not just with your heels. Let me show you. This is where we aren't as ideal, and this is the shift. But when you are standing, just make sure you're aiming for that full tripod foot. So a big triangle, big toe, pinky toe, and the heel. Don't go back on your heels, don't go forward on your toes. Just have a nice solid triangle position. Feet are nice and gripped into the floor. Knees out. And then just staying as far back as you can. Something else that I tell a lot of people is that if you are working from home or an environment where you can do this, to each their own on that one, try to take your shoes and your socks off. Try to take your socks and your shoes off, let your feet be free, and try to just stand barefoot as much as you can so that you are not relying on your shoes, which I've said before. And then you can also just get your feet more involved. The whole movement thing, just keep moving. All right, so we've now talked about how to stand and sit, but I want to talk more about how to change up 
things for it to be at your eye level. So we do have the standing desk converter or just a standing desk. There's a lot, a lot of things out there. There's so many options ranging from more expensive items to cheaper items to each their own on that one. Just type in standing desk converter. But I wanna talk about accessories. Accessories for things that you're using most likely are technology, computer-based things. You can use these things to place your products in a better position for a more ideal work environment. Step into my office. Let's talk accessories. If you had seen my favorites video, it was my Amazon favorites video, I talked about this thing. There's so many different options. This one just happens to be pretty cheap, yet very durable. It is a laptop stand. It also converts into an iPad stand and a phone stand, and it folds itself up into something like this. It's honestly so cool. But there's so many laptop and iPad stands that you can find that will work for you. What I like about this one is that it can convert to all different levels and I can bring it up Ooh, very high, very easily. And I can just place this on just like this and now I'm good to go. I can bring this up just a little bit more and now it's at eye level especially for when I train when I edit when I'm on my computer for a very long time honestly like hours other accessories that I love are a Bluetooth keyboard or a external keyboard that's not the one attached to the computer and a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth trackpad anything that you can move around and place in more ideal positions as opposed to when I bring my desk up and now my computer's up here, now my hands are up here. But it's more ideal for me to have my hands down here, be able to use a mouse, be able to use the keyboard lower so that I'm not having to hold my hands up this entire time. It'll create a lot of stress in my upper neck because then I'm also leaning forward. You want to be able to place yourself in the most ideal positions for you to be able to stay as open as possible and not rounded leaning forward into it which is why I like to stand which is why I like the chair where you don't have support and your low back and your upper backs not rounded this is the most ideal setup and lastly let me talk about my new iPad <laughs> I am loving this thing it is just a different version of basically my laptop where I can do a lot of things that I need to get done but I can place myself in totally different positions. I can sit on the couch, I can lay down on the floor. This is it. I currently have the Magic Keyboard. I'm going to link the vlog where I unbox this. It's a little bit of like an unconventional vlog and it's a little bit all over the place but the unboxing is kind of fun to watch I think. And this is the magic keyboard that I have and I place it in this position right next to my computer so when I bring it all up, it's all up with me. And then I also have the option to take this off. I don't have a case on it right now, I'm still working on that. But basically I can hold it up here, I can look at things I'm doing, I can use the pencil to write, take notes write down my programs for my clients, I can do some of my editing on here, and it's just a great thing to have, and the versatility of it, putting it on here, using the keyboard, taking it off, using my finger, the pen, it also has a built-in keyboard, anything works. What's also great is you can pair an external keyboard and an external mouse or trackpad with it, Technology, first of all, is just the coolest thing. But that aside, this is just a great thing to have. So many alternative options to constantly move and be in more ideal positions because trust me, you do not want to be all the way down the line years from now or even a year from now and wish that you set yourself up better to be successful and have the most ideal posture. You want to come up here with me? No? Alright, she doesn't want to come. 
So, oh, hi, yeah, we're here. So I wanted to touch on one last thing is being on your phone. I am on my phone a decent amount doing random things, quickly checking emails or posting on Instagram, whatever, anything. Most people are. And even if you don't work on your phone, just having these other options, hi, having these other options will go a long way. So try to prop your phone up on things so I can have it right on this pillow. My arm is relaxing on this pillow. I'm in a pretty relaxed position and I can do stuff on my phone. Another option is to just hold it at eye level, maybe place it on your knee, or you can bring something over to you and use something high up so that you are keeping your phone at eye level too. Try not to have yourself always in this position, texting, posting, honestly, whatever you're doing on here, try to keep it up at eye level as much as you can. This will go a long way, like so long. The same thing with the iPad. When I am using it and I take it off of this thing, I will keep it up as much as I can. I'll actually rest it a lot like this and be able to write down stuff like this or take notes or just hold it up and have it here. It, again, it's just a more ideal position. These are just easy, quick reminders to hold your electronics, anything that you're using, up as high as possible. Even if you're reading books or anything that you hold, just try to keep it up as high as you can. As easy as it is for me to say that, it is hard to remember to do, but just try to keep it in mind when you're using stuff like this. Another thing I'd like to mention is setting yourself up to move more. So I know I've said this so many times right now, but just movement is key. So setting alarms or setting a certain timer for a productive little segment and then the alarm will go off and it'll just be a reminder to get up. So that's one way. Or I recently did a video where I give you five more tips. It was a part two to starting your journey. I'll link it here if you'd like to watch it. But in it, I talked about drinking water, which so many people struggle to drink water in general. But I mentioned in that video, if you have a water bottle next to you, which is a good idea, fill up the water bottle. It'll take It'll take time for you to go fill up the water, so you'll have to walk to wherever you are to fill up the water, then walk back down. Maybe it'll be a nice reminder to be like, oh, you know what, instead of sitting back down, I can stand now. Or same thing, standing for a while, now I can sit. So it's just a good way to break up the day. And I also mentioned in that video, which is an obvious thing, if you have to run to the restroom, because obviously you're drinking a lot of water, it's a another opportunity for you to get up and get moving. The last thing or an idea is if you are on a call or if you're on a non-video call, whether virtually or on the phone, just walk around as you're taking the call or if you're talking to someone, just do some laps. I'll pace around in this room, I'll go outside, walk around, just do some sort of movement if you can in times where you have the opportunity to do so. So instead of standing there on the phone, if you don't need anything around you or to be using anything, just pace around. Even just that fidgety movement is really good. It's called NEAT, actually. It's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And that's just basically like fidgety types of stuff or random things that you're doing throughout the day that will just burn energy. Okay, moving on. One quick last, last thing, I promise this is the last thing, is to get yourself a pair of blue light glasses if you are in front of screens most of the day. So this is a pair that I really like. They're a clear pink. There's so many out there. Just find yourself a pair of blue light glasses. It'll just take the strain off of your eyes. I don't have that much knowledge in depth as to the science behind these, but I do find that it does help me feel better. It does give my eyes a little bit more of a break as opposed to when I'm not using them and not just staring at the screen, especially as it gets towards the nighttime. So I just wanted to mention that. And that is it, we are at the end of the video. I will link down below if I can find a lot of the things that I have for myself. 
if you are interested in getting them as well. But please just do your research and also just look on the web, the World Wide Web. There are so many things out there ranging from iPad stands, computer stands, ergonomic chairs, ergonomic desks, ergonomic standing desk converters, just everything, everything that I mentioned. And there's so many brands, so many different products. Just gonna leave that there. So thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far into the video, I am so appreciative. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. And if you're sitting down watching this video, stand up right now. Or if you're standing up, sit back down. Get movement in, change it up. Please cut that out. Restart. If you do find yourself in a work, if you oh, keep not getting into chat, the iPads, Bluetooth. Oh, excuse me. No, we're not doing that. No. No, ma'am.